Hi, what's up YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives. Now in this video, I'm going to throw these three cold steel machetes you see here. The older Barong, the new Tanto machete, and the Bowie machete. But before I do that, I want to give you an overview of this Tanto machete because this is new. All right, it just came out, so I'll include that Amazon link. It's $20. It comes with that sheath you see there with the end reinforced because it's an extremely pointed machete. You see I've already beat this up quite a bit. It's durable. There is the machete in hand. This is a 13 inch blade, which is odd because the other cold steel machetes around this size are 12 inch. So it's an inch longer than the typical short cold steel machete. It is 1055 mid-carbon. It's semi-flexible, so it's not going to break. It will bend. All right, if you want to see it actually cutting something like what most people would use a machete for, can it trim the hedges? Yes, if you want something to trim your hedges for $20, it's a, a good solid value, right? That's the bush of machete testing because it grows so quickly. So yeah, I've beat this up a lot. I've thrown it a lot. And for $20, it's good. Why would you want a Tanto tip on a machete? You know, because it's extremely pointed. So if you're thinking about emergency defense, sure. All right, so in conclusion about that Tanto machete, for $20, yeah, it is a good deal if you want to trim the hedges or for the zombie apocalypse. All right, the throwing footage is coming up. I'm going to do something different. I'm just going to narrate and uh, talk as we watch this. All right, so there I am throwing the three machetes. And the reason I'm doing a narration here is because it's kind of it's kind of a lot of footage and like five minutes of music can just get repetitive. So if all you want to do is watch the throwing, you can just turn the volume off. I mean, that's cool if you just want to see the form of the throwing. So how were these machetes to throw? Well, first of all, let me say throwing is fun because it takes concentration and anything that takes concentration, whether you're talking about throwing or shooting or even things like fixing a car engine, you know, a lot of people like to do these things because when you focus, you block out the rest of the world and all your worries. You know, a lot of people inform you, oh, throwing isn't good in a fight. I never said I would fight by throwing. I mean, I would typically, I, I mean, if you forced me, I would basically try to thrust through a vital area. Along the way to making that opening, I might slice, I might slash. But yeah, I mean, close range thrusts are usually the way to go in a fight. But that doesn't mean I can't throw recreationally because it's freaking fun. And it's one more thing to do with blades. It's one more just way to have fun with your blades when you're not trimming the hedges with your machete. Now keep in mind, these three machetes have different weights, different balances, and the Tanto is an inch longer. And some people have told me that, oh, you shouldn't throw with a with one spin because you're locked into a specific uh, range. Really? Uh, that's not really true. I mean, if it were, how could you throw three blades of different weight from the exact same spot? Well, first of all, when I'm throwing the lighter, the lightest one, which is the buoy machete, I'm holding it higher up on the handle. So there are many little tricks that can allow you to throw uh, blades of a lot different weight. Now these aren't too different in weight, but I've uh, done videos where I threw one tomahawk that was way lighter than another tomahawk, and I threw them from the same distance. Because there's tricks like releasing it later, or earlier, or on a higher trajectory, or holding it higher up or lower on the handle itself. So yeah, it's not really true that a certain weight and balance makes you only throw it from one set distance. Um, I could go back five feet and still throw these. I'd have to throw them a little differently, but I could. 
And of course, if you ever saw Dave Canterbury's video on throwing, he has another, he has a really practical method. He says just memorize the ideal range and then just run up to your target. He was talking about like hunting, uh, like if you were going to throw to a hunt small game or something, kind of like the Aborigines, they have a what's called a rabbit stick. But uh, other thoughts and benefits of throwing, you know, it teaches mental focus. I mean, the same as any other sport, whether playing baseball or shooting pool, it teaches focus and it teaches you to perform under pressure because when you're throwing several blades, you know, the first one's easy, then the second one, I've thrown up to seven, like, sets of seven blades, and when you're trying to get that seventh one to stick, you know, you're, like, nervous because, oh man, I stuck all six and just one more and it'll be a perfect set, can I do it? It teaches you to perform under pressure. A few times I missed because I was so nervous about making the set perfect that I half-assed the last throw. Well, after doing that for a while, no more of that. I go for the last throw. Okay, that last throw, I go for it. So, you know, throwing, it teaches you to finish strong, which is a lesson you can learn uh, for all things in life. It teaches you focus, concentration, uh, finishing strong. So, yeah, I I might not throw something in a fight, but definitely the self-discipline of trying to master a skill, I mean, that will always, that will always build your character, you know what I'm saying? You know, someone asked me if my jacket was like a blade-resistant jacket, like if it was like a Kevlar jacket. Uh, no, it's a Columbia River uh, windbreaker that I bought from a sporting goods store. Uh, did you see my, my target fell? That thing is heavy by the way. Yeah, funny blooper there. But you know, throwing, even though it's not my uh, favored way to fight with a blade, it can deter, it can be used to, let's say, distract, and then you charge in behind the throw. Or if you're being pursued, it can be used to, quote, discourage pursuit. I mean, a blade flies by your head, most rational people will go the other way. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Throw Knives as well. Stay tuned for many more videos. I am out.